Good morning, Greg. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank Did you, you bring us some beautiful weather? Of course. Nice. It's going to be almost 70 today. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do about that? Are we going to turn the heat on, Greg? <laughs> Pardon? We're trying to cool you down. He, he's cooling us down. But um, we'll switch over here. The, the camera's we on. No. We can't see weather today. Smiling spring. It feels like spring. Yeah, feel, I feel like spring. Amazing, amazing weather today. But, but, maybe for some people it's cold. Spring like weather. Spring like weather, yeah. Today it will be. Um, I heard it's going to be in the mid 60s, maybe up to 70. Yeah. Oh. And I also heard, I look out there and oh, I see some darkening sky. Darkening, what does that mean? Right. The rain is coming. Darkening. Cloudy? What does dark mean? Foggy? Yes, yes, like getting close to black. Darkening. So, what does that mean? Rain is coming. <coughs> Rain. It's coming. What else can we say? What are those words that we've used? Dissipation. The, the P word. P. Precipitation. That's the other one. That's the rain. Is coming. Is coming. Who remembers? Absolutely. Remember this one? Yes. Absolutely. Rain. Yep. Yeah. Rain is. Can you see back there? Predicted. Rain is expected. And one more that we did yesterday. Rain is probable. Remember the word probable?
Let's take a look at this one and this one. Are they the same or are they different? Are they the same or is it different? How is it different? Chance more. Yes. More of a chance. More of a chance. More of a chance. A chance of rain? Not sure. Maybe. But this one, uh, we think probably a good chance. A good chance. Most likely. Most likely. Good? Everybody? Did it feel for this? Yes. Probably. Oh, did I take it off? <laughs> you know, somebody has to be quick and say, don't do that. I can always leave it on here longer, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Back to directions. In front of. Go straight. Straight ahead. What does that mean? Like in your face. Yes. Think of your head. Turn around. Turn around. All the way. Yeah. What way am I facing? The north. North. So if I turn around, which way am I going? The west. If I turn around, to the south. I'm going south. When they give you this, they, it's always a little confusing and sometimes uh, you have to really pay attention. I'm facing north and I look to my left. What do I see on my left? Pardon? What do I see on, what is on my left? Board. The board. Uh, board. What is on my right? Students. 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 If I turn around, what will be on my left and what will be on my right? If I turn around, turn around. what will be on my left? Uh, the board. Students. 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 It will be backwards. Let's pretend that this pathway right here okay, is a street. And I say that I am going straight down the street and I'm going to turn left. 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 No, I don't want to. I'm going, sure. <laughs> I'm going to turn right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk down the street and turn right. What will be on my left? The wall. The wall. The wall. The wall. What will be on my right? Students. The students. There is a, on most of those tests, there's a little piece on there that has you follow like directions. You go this way and then that way and sometimes they have a little picture to follow your picture to see what is on your right, what is on your left. What does the word next to mean? Next to. Next to. Near you. Next to. Next to What is next to Five. two? Three. 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 Three.
What is between uh, what is between uh, uh, one and three? Two. 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 What is on the right? Right. Four. Four. What is on the left? One. What is across from two? Six. 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 Across from? Six. So one of those questions I had on that test has to do across from. But then they also use the word cross the street. What does that mean, cross the street? Um, Cross the street. Go oh, from one side to, from one side side to, to the other. Side. Yeah. Okay. Cross the street means go, here's the street, to the other side. If it's a river, we all know a river? Yes. What is a river? Water. You mean a cup of water? No, 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 no. A lot of flowing, flowing. Yes. flowing like, like the Nile River, the Mississippi River, Amazon. the Detroit River, Amazon. the Amazon River. Yes. And so you can go across the river. What? Pardon? What? I'm not following. <laughs> Some people. If you cross the river, you go from one side to the other. Okay. Um, What's the difference between next to and near? What does near? Near, near close. Near. Close to. Close. Uh, but what is next to? <laughs> Nothing in between. Next to. Next, this, this next is thing. next to me. Okay. Near means Near. close by. Yeah. Uh, this is a this is your driving, and you see this. No truck. Pardon? No truck. You can. To the to drive. No, you can. 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 No, Not allowed. No turn left. No, no left turn. No, left turn. Yes. no turning left. It'll be around. What does that mean? No turn left. Like you just can't go. No turn left. Between three and six p.m. No. Between three and six p.m. Between three and six p.m. We all know this one up here. Yeah. And Tramic makes a lot of money. Yes. Yes. Money. Yes. Take tickets. They give tickets. Right. 
um, and they watch. Uh, so, why I bring this up is that on these on this test, all of these all of the answers that you have are going to be A, B, C, and D, and you have to look at all four to make sure you get the correct one because. Both of these signs are telling about don't do something, don't turn, but that's not the best answer for these. <laughs> now maybe we'll ask an ask a question. This one. This is always the one that trips people up. And the first answer on this test, people say, no, it's no turn. It's no left turn. No left turn. Um, pay attention to A, B, C, and D to make sure you get the best answer. Um, are prepositions and often I when we're reading I hear people sometimes uh, read them mix them up when they're reading but when you when you're reading you have to pay attention because what does this one mean or <coughs> what, what this pen is for Saeed, what does that mean? From you to Saeed. His or Saeed. Goes to him. Okay. For. What is this one? From. 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 Where it started from. from. I left from, I left from Hamtramck and went to Dearborn. So <sighs> show us. That's a direction from <coughs> to, from and for, sort of opposites. And these get do get mixed up because of the letters. Uh, <coughs> directions, what is, what does uh, beside mean? Beside. Beside. Uh, beside. 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 Yes. Think about your side. So, uh, Ishak is beside you. Uh, which side, Mohammed? Uh, left side. Left side. Yes. Ishak. Yeah. Uh, where is Mohammed? Right. On right my right side, yes. Okay. Uh, who is between uh, uh, Hifshir and uh, Muhammad? Who is between? Hishat. In between. Okay. Beside, between. Remember those? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see if I can think of some more things on that test that you guys took. But we'll start with this one today. Mm -hmm. We talked about coffee yesterday. Yes. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I didn't have time to uh, to print this. It's in today's uh, paper, um, which I read online this morning. And it has to do with 
the health benefits of coffee. Health benefits. What is? What do you think that means? Benefit. What does that mean? Is it a good thing or bad thing? Think of the word benefit means good in French. Benefit. So a benefit is a good thing, and it talked about coffee being a benefit for people. And one of the benefits of coffee is type 2 diabetes. Do you know diabetes? Yes. What is sugar? Like sugar. Your, your body doesn't doesn't process sugar and carbohydrates properly, and it leads to um, many medical problems. And it said that uh, for each cup of coffee, that it reduces. What does that mean? Reduce. Reduce. This way or this way? Reduce. Increase. Increase. So it reduces the chance. Remember chance? Yes. Like the big maybe? Yeah. Reduces the chance of type 2 diabetes. I think it said 6% for each cup of coffee. Up to, I think it said six cups of coffee a day. So beyond six, maybe too much caffeine. Uh, but it said regular coffee or decaffeinated. <coughs> what is, remember decaffeinated? Yes, no from coffee. yesterday? Without D means none. Okay, we're going down. So decaffeinated means the caffeine is gone. So I thought that was interesting. How many cups of coffee? Any coffee drinkers here besides me? Yes. How many cups do you drink a day? Each day between four, four, five, six, four or five. Max. Uh, we'll say five. Five coffees. <coughs> Two? This nine. So that would be uh, like Priscilla, if he drinks five cups, 6% times five, that's 30% less. For people that are diabetic, it's very serious. So interesting. But so, more, I have more six cups, maybe. Uh, Increase stress. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, nerve. Yeah, nerve. Some people, some people react, get nervous and can't sleep. But other people, no problem. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can't sleep. You keeps you awake. I when I drink, okay, I can't sleep. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was interesting about coffee. Uh, um, uh, I'm always looking for reasons to think coffee is good for me because I like it. So that's, yeah. uh, you know, I, I may have told the story. Uh, uh, some years ago, I asked my doctor, I asked my doctor, uh, how many cups of coffee is okay for me? And he asked me, uh, how many cups do you drink a day? And I said, oh, maybe five or six. I don't drink that many now. But I said, five or six. And he said, no problem. <coughs> he said, I drink 15. <laughs> so, okay. Pardon? Sugar? In coffee? No. I don't like sugar in coffee. Sometimes a little milk, but. Yes. Only coffee? I think tea, tea, sugar, and milk. Yeah, my wife likes milk and tea. I don't like milk and tea. Usually, black, they call it black coffee. So if you go to a restaurant, you say black coffee, that means nothing in it. 
No, I think I went for a long walk and did not stretch. So you're supposed to do these stretches. Yes. Yes. Hold it. Yes. Waiting to stretch that, you know, it's, it's stretching and pulling, it. so it's swollen and it, uh, I'm hoping it goes away. I usually walk, but I, when I leave here, I go home and walk about three miles. Three miles. Yeah. And then I'm on my feet here. Maybe I, I do too much standing. I need to. I need to yes. once in a while. <laughs> so that's why I'm limping. Uh, everyone got one of these? Yes. Okay. This is uh, uh, dealing with passives. Passives. Do we remember what that meant? What does it mean? The, the word passive. Passive. The passive tense means that we use the verb in a different way, and it's less direct.
active and passive. The first one is active. The man drives the car. Subject, verb, and the object of, of the, uh, the verb. This is passive. Which one do you like better? Number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. If you are an English teacher, if you are an English teacher and you're helping students learn to write, they like number one. To avoid number two as a way of writing because it's not direct. But we still use it. So we should be aware of it. So uh, um, take a look here. Let me give you a few minutes. Um, on 61, take a look at uh, active and passive. Give me two or three minutes and I'll be right back. Okay?
the brief, the, the brief form, form of the act, uh, action can be included in a passive sentence uh, after the word by uh, several new laws have been signed by the president. Yeah. So let's uh, look down here in part A. I think many of you have already started. And it says, use the correct form of the verb in parentheses to complete the sentences. So the, on the left in the brackets or parentheses, you will see the verb and then you have to fix it. Okay? And I'll give you a few minutes to do that. And I walked off with my sign-in sheet and where the heck did I put it? My sign, oh, it's over here. informational things we talk about uh, in our government system. We have three branches of government. Do we remember that? Yeah. Yeah. What's another word for branches? Branches. Give me another word for branch for the government. Three parts a branch. So um, We go to a bank, right? Yep. Very well-known bank here in Hamtramck is PNC Bank. Yeah. That is the Hamtramck branch of PNC Bank system. It means separate pieces. It's like we talk about a branch being a part of something, like in a tree, one part of the tree. So go ahead, number one, Bashar. Uh, balance the power of the executive. Executive. Uh, branch is balanced by the ju uh, judgment. Judicial. Judicial branch. Very good. Notice it's balanced. Um, the ED. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, go from that unity state, it has a... Wait, wait, but that word in, in parentheses is govern. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. The unity state has uh, been uh, governed uh, by the uh, constitution. 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 Uh, since. Since. Uh, uh, one wait, 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 okay, this is important. What is that date? 1791. If you said 1791, you are correct. But when we say that in common language, we would say 1791. Like, we would say 2024. Yeah. for today, for this year. So that's just the way it's most likely going to be said. Okay, uh, number, let's go ahead, number three, text me, yes. Wait, wait, slow down, again. Being. Being what? Made. Yes. Notice the past tense of make is made. Being made. Yes. <coughs> Number four. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Number five. Choose the president is choose by the president. Choose. Chosen. 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 Yes. Irregular form. Chosen. E N on the end. Number six. Yeah. And the Secretary of Education will be included. Excellent. In Very good. Number seven. What has been declared? Declared. 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 Yes. Past tense, E-D. Declared some yes. cellular banking. Times in US what does that mean several times? Several. Sometimes. Like what kind of a number? A big <coughs> number or a small number? Between one and ten. Usually less than ten. I like to think of I like to think of when I look at several, I see the word seven. So some number close to seven. Yeah. Several. Several. It's a non-specific number term. Remember some of these? A couple of days. What does that mean? Two days. Two days. A few days. Three, four. Three, four days. Several days. A lot of days. Many days. So these are words that are not specific. Pardon? Let's finish this, then I'm going to put some of these on the board. Uh, and number eight, who is next? Maru? Tech are being collected electronically. Yes, so we did all that work yesterday, helping you fill out paperwork. Now everything is going to be electronic. Uh, let me put this up here.
This is sort of in the order of uh, how these work uh, from less to more. Um, so when we say only, yes, it's giving you a singularity. Okay, it's it's even if I say. <laughs> what does that mean? It's really trying to make you see very clearly no more than three. Only three. And it's telling us uh, some information usually if I said if I was to have class tomorrow <coughs> I will have class and only five people came so I would say oh only five people today only doesn't mean one but it means it's not enough only so it's it's telling us some information about this three days. <coughs> How about this one? Two. 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 Usually two. A couple of days, we don't know if that's two or three, but we say a couple. We think of that as two. A couple. Few. A few. Three, four. Three, four. Seven. Several. One, two, seven. Somewhere around the island. It would not be two. So, more. Yeah. I could say there are several people sitting in the front row. That would work. I could say there are a few people in the front row. That would work. How about this one? Multiple. What does that mean? Multiple. Multiple means more than one or two, multiple. But it, we don't know what the number is. Multiple choose. What is many. This one? many. Many. What is many? A lot. It's a bigger number. Yeah. Many people came to my class. A large number, many. These are not specific. We don't know what the number is. So sometimes we have to read more information to find out what that is. Let's go down here to uh, um, part B. And this is a little tricky, and we want to um, use the passive form. So notice the example, the people elect the mayor. The mayor is elected by the people. I give you a few minutes to try one through seven, and then we'll go through this. They're giving you a hint here. They want you to use the word by in each one of these. <coughs> Thank you. 
example. Uh, the people elect the mayor. That's very active, very direct. And the passive form, the mayor is elected by the people. Okay. So let's try number one. Of who is next? Taslima, I think. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, what's that word? Committee. Committee. The community will found the board. Okay. 
now the passive way. Anyone have an idea? The boots will be counted by committee. Go ahead, if sure. The boots will be counted by committee. The votes will be counted. Who did it? By the committee. The votes will be counted by the committee. What is a committee? People who are able to work in government. A committee, a group of people doing something together. Committee. Uh, number two, need to? Now the passive. The school system. The school system. Is, is run, is run by, the by the superintendent. Remember that word superintendent? That's one of our, our words that we used for people that are in charge of something. We have the word chief, superintendent, boss, manager. These are titles of responsibility for operating something. Uh, number three, up here, uh, Abdul Magid. The three. The teacher are making some important decisions. 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 <laughs> some important decisions. Are being made. Are being made. By by the teachers. By the teachers. Some are some important decisions. Are being made. Are being made. Why are being made? Uh, that's just how it's done. Uh, because we have, have R. <laughs> Being, our being, our being, our being made. Take a look up at the top, the, the uh, example they gave. The Supreme Court is making becomes is being made. B-I-N-G. Yes, being, being. But we can use is, we don't use being, is being, is being made. The school system is run. Oh, you mean number two. Yeah, I'm about to number two. It's being run. It's being run? Yes. Also. Yes. Okay. Uh, number, where are we? Number four, Mohammed. This year, mayor. The mayor. The mayor. This year, the mayor has raised the school budget. The school budget. 
the school budget. Have. Have. Not have. Have. Has. 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 Been. Has been. The school budget has been raised by by what? By the mayor. By the mayor. By the mayor. <laughs> Say number five. The mayor is suggesting a million budget. 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 Do you remember that word budget? Budget, yes. What does that mean? Money. For money. Plan your money. Yeah. How you spend your money. Your budget. Budget. Go ahead, Saeed. A million dollar budget. <coughs> budget is singular. <coughs> you would not say budget are. You'd say budget is. Is. Budget is. That ing word. Being. Being. Being suggested. Is being suggested, then of course, by the mayor. The mayor. What is a mayor? The boss. The boss of The boss of Hamdramic? I like that. It's an elected position, usually for a city, the mayor. Let's go on the back. Mohammed, number six. The tax assessor. Assessor sits a small tax array. No, this is a little information here, but go ahead, finish up the sentence. Now, the passive. The tax, the tax, the seeds, the school tax rates, school tax receipts, are, you could either say are set by or is being set by. Are set. All set by. By the tax assessor. Do you remember yesterday when we did that tax form? Yes. Did you see the uh, 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 the city code? Remember, uh, not the city code, the school district code. Remember that on the form. Yes. <clears throat> that allows the school district to collect money from the state. That's what that is about. So where does the money for operating Hamtramck schools come from? Did you, anybody here have kids in school? Anyone here have kids? Do they come to your door and say, pay money for your kids to go to school? No. Where does the money come from to operate the school, pay the teachers, pay the bus drivers, uh, keep the school open, buy books? It comes from the state. Okay. Okay. And where does the state get the money from? Where did the state get the money from? From, tax from taxes that you pay. Yeah. One form of taxes is income tax right yes the other kind of taxes that pay uh pay is sales tax you go to the store yes every time you buy something six percent except for food and pharmacy how, how much 
tax in Michigan. Six percent. Six percent. Yeah. But then there's one more kind of tax. It's property tax. If you own property, someone says, aha, we are going to tax your property. <laughs> and so someone has to say how much your property is worth. So that's the person called the tax assessor. If you, if you own a house here in Hamtramck, probably in the summer and then in the fall, someone will come and they will say, here are your property taxes. And who decides that? The tax assessor. That's their job. They go up and down the street and look to see well, all of a sudden, this house has a big addition on the back. Oh my gosh, almost practically a brand new house. The taxes will go up. If it's the same, maybe they stay the same for a few years, maybe up and down a little bit. But if the house, uh-oh, falling apart, the porch fell off, the windows are gone. Uh-oh, the assessed value will go down. So anyway, that's a little bit of information for you. The tax assessor is not the mayor, it's not the city council, it's the tax assessor who decides that. Also, for your information, sometimes people will say, wait a minute, this went up. I didn't do anything. My house is the same as last year. Why did it go up? You can go to the city office and say, I disagree. And people do that all the time. That's a part of what, what happens because it's, it's a negotiation. Sometimes they will say, oh, I agree. Sometimes they say, nope. So, uh, so let's, uh, Ishak number seven in the back there. The teacher support the mayor. The mayor is being support the teachers. I say it again, Ishak, so I hear what you did with support. Huh? Again, I mean, say no, say I, you're you're great. Go ahead. And the the mayor is being the, uh, support the teacher. Okay. Notice you can you can do this two ways. When you say the teachers support the mayor, that is direct, active, direct. If you said the mayor, you're going to start with the mayor, okay, is supported, is supported then by the teachers. But you must have supported, okay, you would not say the mayor is supported by the teachers. The mayor is supported. He's being or is he? You can also say the mayor is being supported by the teachers. You don't need is being because there's no. The teachers, if you want the being to be exact, exactly correct. If I said on number seven, the teachers are supporting, the teachers are supporting the mayor, are supporting. That's that progressive, remember, are supporting. Then you would use the being. But the under, basically they mean the same thing. Being is being in the progressive form. But the idea here is the mayor 
the mayor is not doing anything. He's not active. He's passive. Who's doing the work here? The teachers. The teachers. That's why people don't like the passive mode. But you will see it. Uh, I don't like I don't like to use the passive much. There's a use for it. Um, but um, when you're writing, try to use the active mode in your writing. This next part is more interesting on the other side. Uh, it has to do with um, uh, infinitives. An infinitive is a verb with two in front of it. So the word drive, to drive. The word read, to read. The word study, to study. The word learn, to learn. That's the infinitive. The verb with two in front of it. So let's take a look up here at uh, the uh, subject then the form of the uh, word be, then the adjective, and then the infinitive. Okay, if, uh, in the back, if sure you want to read for us the examples up there in the box. If fun look at new apartment, present, uh, it is fun to look uh, let's go up to the box. Uh, it, it is. It is fun to look at new apartment. No. Go up. It is difficult to find affordable rents. Good. Keep going. It will be impossible to buy a house on. He was lucky to find a cheap apartment. She is ready to move right now. Keep going. After the word is, the following adjective can be used. Dangerous, difficult, easy, good, hard, important, possible, necessary, fun, expensive, impossible. After names or subject pronouns, the following adjectives can be used. Afraid, glad, happy, lucky, prepared, proud, ready, said. Okay, do we all know what dangerous means? What does dangerous mean? Dangerous. An accident is dangerous, can be. What does dangerous mean? Things bad. Is it bad? Yes. Look at the word danger. Do you see the word danger? What does that mean, danger? Be careful. It means something bad can happen. Okay, so when we put dangerous, it means that something, something, that's the adjective, a dangerous door, a dangerous road. It is dangerous. What is dangerous? It. Okay. So if I said to you, um, this road, this road is very bumpy. Yeah, dangerous. It is dangerous. What is it? What does, it is a pronoun, what does it refer to? It. What? I'm trying to stay off my foot. It's a kind of good review for.
a pronoun. Okay? Do we know it? Yeah. It, 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 it. All yeah. these things are its. Yeah. This refers to something up here. What it. thing is it? Guns. People with guns. What's the subject of this? The neighborhood. The neighborhood. Neighborhood. It's referring back to what comes before it. Dangerous. How about difficult? What does that mean? It's a hard. Hard. Yes. Okay. Not easy. How about uh, what is the next word? Uh, possible. What does that mean? Possible. Possible. It's a. It can. <coughs> Possible means it can happen. Yeah. What does impossible mean? It can't. It can't happen. It can't happen. The negative. Possible, impossible. Uh, what was that other one here? Um, uh, Necessary. What does necessary mean? Important. <coughs> Needed. <coughs> necessary. Uh, going down to the next ones. Afraid. What does afraid mean? He's still something. Afraid. Afraid. What? Afraid. Scared. Scared. Yes. Afraid. Scared. Uh, what does glad mean? Uh, happy, uh, too much happy. Glad, Please. Happy. happy, yes. Uh, proud, what does that mean? Proud. Proud. <laughs> in Arabic? Yeah. What is it in Arabic? <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me an example. Like, uh, I brought off my sister or my father. Someone who did something special, did something very nicely, and we have a feeling we are proud of, the, of what they did. Uh, last one, uh, ready. What does ready mean? He's ready. Like what? I can. I can't. Re I am ready. What does that mean? I'm ready to go. You can't do what does that mean? I'm ready to go. I go. I'm prepared. All set. Ready to go. Action. If I said, 
Your dinner is ready. What does that mean? Dinner is coming. The dinner is all prepared. Now you can eat. Ready. Uh, let's take a look here at uh, one through six. And it says, use the words to write sentences with that infinitive. Now, uh, let's take a look at the example. We have an it that's giving you a clue that um, something is it something. With the example here, they want you to use fun, look at new apartments, and in the present tense that that is telling us number the example is present, then number one is past, then present. So look at look at what tense it is. One of those is future. So let's take a look at number one. <coughs> it is fun or it's fun and then to look at new apartments. Now try one through six. Ali is glad to see you got it.